Second Life Viewer 2.2, as shown here, hot off the proverbial press, brings with it some time-saving daily features. Of particular intrigue to builders will be the ability to align planar textures. You can see what I'm saying is at odds with what I'm showing. <laughs> These are clearly not aligned. If someone was trying to, like yourself, create a floor, a regularly shaped mapped across several prims, a continuous illusion. It's difficult to do it manually. Time's painstaking. And if I'm going to move my camera, you can see the Z flicker is horrible, the scaling is off, so on and so forth. Let me show you in a couple clicks that it's much, much easier now. I'm going to right click and edit. I'm gonna slide this over. I'm just holding down shift to do the old shift drag copy thing. And now, on this demo model, as if there were a home cooking show in progress. <laughs> Let me right click actually and add a game. We have so much fun with this. Select face right here. And there are six prims. So one, hold down shift, two, whoops. It's a bit tricky to see that. Let me zoom in. One, two, ah, come on. There, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, got them all. Now, the key, two clicks or three. Go to mapping default and select the other option, the only other one which is planar. And now click align planar faces, just like what it says there. True to its description, everything slides into place. That looks like a moire pattern. I'm gonna enlarge this so you can see it better. And voila, there we are. Now, do note, of course, the Z flickering isn't totally eliminated. It is better, but it isn't perfect. There is a difference. <laughs> this will, of course, you saw it just translate over the scaling of it. It will also translate to rotation, so 33 degrees there. And there it's more noticeable, but use your, whoop, that 34 isn't much of a difference, 45, there you go. But use your eyeballs. All right. So one more thing I'd like to note with this, there are some limitations you should know about. For instance, if I were to select just this prim, let me select move, and just this big squarish one here, squarish QB thing, if I go to object and I select and change taper, okay, now this imposes problems because notice it looks fine for now, but if you try to have all of them, where is it? It's hard to see that triangle. That's how, ah, one, two, three, is it three? Ah, one, gah. <laughs> this is tricky. This is tricky. The, the selection indicator should be better. Three, four, uh, four. Is that five, six? Yes, I selected six. <laughs> it says right there if you're ever at a loss. So you go through the same process as me here. Uh, let's go to texture. And now what happens though? The problem when you select align planar faces. Notice that uh, it's mismatched. So as a workaround, in some cases you will need to align them before doing operations like taper. And this is noted, by the way, for more information on this, come on over with me here. And whoops, let me just drag this up here so you can clearly see it. And it's right here at this URL. If you're at a loss of how to get here, just head over to wiki.secondlife.com and search here for release 2.2. And what it'll bring up this link is the one we're looking for, not the beta, because we're out of beta now, it is right here as a key Jira, key feature that's been added as part of Snowstorm. And just click right through, and you can check out all the other notes, but right here is where the limitations and other meaningful details are notated. Please have a look at that, and have fun being creative in Second Life.